How's it going gamers? My name is Bones and welcome back to a Q&A video. This is my second one. I love these videos because it really gives me a chance to answer your questions. It just gives us a chance to talk and honestly, just a good time. I like chilling here talking to y'all. So here we go. Mercy Plays asks, I want to know, can you call your fans Skelebros? Now, I'm going to leave this completely in your hands. If y'all want me to call you Skelebros, let me know. There'll be a card somewhere in one of these top corners. But if you want me to, I absolutely will. I love that name. I just don't want to impose that. I don't know. It's weird to me to think of fans. I don't believe y'all are fans because I'm not famous. I'm not popular. But... If y'all want me to call you Skelly Bros, let me know. I don't mind it. I think it's an amazing name. I think it'd be very cool to call y'all that. But I want it to be something y'all want me to call you. So let me know your opinion on that. Zoe Adams asks, What games have you played that have hit you the hardest in the feels? Also, have you considered doing a Draw My Life video? So that first question is kind of a, kind of a strange one because I can answer it in multiple ways. The games that have made me feel the saddest is when John Marston dies in Red Dead Redemption 1 because it's just completely out. I just didn't expect it coming and you spend a whole game dedicated to one guy and you start to love this guy because he's doing everything for his family and then they just turn on him and kill him. Uh, the second saddest moment I can think of, these aren't in order, but another one is when Lee dies in season one of Telltale's Walking Dead. That killed me. I still can't watch it today without tearing up a little bit because it's such a sad moment because you just see Clementine, you see everything y'all have gone through together and then boom, there's nothing you can do, it happens. And it's an amazing moment in gaming because it has to happen for the development of Clementine. And it's just, I can't get over it. So that is another one. The next one I can think of to end off my top three is gonna be when Aggro falls in Shadow of the Colossus. It is my absolute favorite game of all time. I have a tattoo of the sigil that you stab on them. I love it so much. It was really the first game that introduced me to open world games. It was really the first game that I was like, wow, Video games are amazing. It was so environmental at the time. It was so just all around goodness. I loved it to death. But you have a companion the entire game named Agro. He's your horse. And at one point, he falls off a cliff, basically saving you. At the time, you're like, he's dead. <laughs> I mean, it's so sad. You just see your reaction as wonder. And you see, like, your reaction in real life. And it's just so awful. And, you know, you're like, I don't know how I'm going to be able to finish this game without him. He ends up coming back spoiler alert but man that really just gets you every time and then kind of as a honorable mention i'm going to talk about a video game that i was the most betrayed in and this is going to be different for everyone this is one of mine and i know i think it's a lot of a lot of people's as well but i used to play a lot of call of duties like a lot of the stories in call of duties and modern warfare 2 you probably know what i'm talking about when when you're betrayed by captain price it is completely out of the order just oh my gosh as ghost and roach and you know ghost was as, ghost is probably my favorite character of all time in call of duty either ghost or i would say ghost or soap soap mctavish probably is the most badass character i've ever played as i love him to death but i also love ghost but when you're shot by captain price that is the most betrayed i've ever felt in video games so i'll leave that part of the question there the next part is, have I considered doing a draw my life? And yes, I have considered it and I would love to do one in the future. I just want to have, you know, some more people watching my videos and stuff like that so that they can let me know if they're interested in it as well because I want to make videos y'all are interested in. So if you are, let me know. But I do, I do plan on doing that if we grow a little bit bigger uh, just so more people can see it because I've always seen people do it at like a million subscribers. Not that I'll ever hit a million, but if I do get a little bit more and people want to see it, I absolutely will do a draw of my life, even though my drawing skills are terrible. Quince Maxwell says, Bones, can you do a reaction video and things like that? I have done reaction videos and I absolutely love them. I just get a little hesitant because I really don't want copyright strikes. Um, I don't mind copyright, you know, just to where I don't make money because I really don't make money on videos anyways. But I love doing reaction videos. I'm going to continue to do them. I want to do more of the My Strange Addiction videos because those are just completely crazy. Or a Reddit reaction because I love reacting things on that. So if you want to see more reaction videos, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you want me to react to. And I'd love to do it because I love reaction videos. I do. I just get a little weird, but I just got to get over that. So let me know if you want to see it. Alpha J asks, Yo Bones, will you be going into cons? My answer to this is yes at some point eventually. Not as a personality that is going to be asked questions and have a panel but to see the people that i love to see answering questions and being on a panel 
And if I go, I'm going to let y'all know which ones I'm going to, just in case y'all happen to be able to go to those. And then if y'all do go to those, then we can talk, you know? I think that'd be amazing to be able to meet some of y'all, because y'all, some of y'all have been with me for a very long time. And, you know, I'd very much want to be able to talk to you face to face and be able to get some opinions from you, stuff like that. Even though I'm a very awkward person, I'm very socially awkward, so you'll have to deal with me like that. But I do plan on going to some cons. I just don't know which ones. I have to figure that out. But as soon as I do, I will let y'all know on Twitter. So make sure you're following me on Twitter for that. It's going to be amazing. Brute Void asks, are you planning to collab with someone in the future? Now, I do want to give a quick shout out to Brute Void because he has done a lot of work on our Discord. If you haven't joined our Discord, make sure you join it. Link is down in the description below. He has done an amazing work. So go see all the amazing stuff he's put into it. He's amazing. I can't stop saying amazing when I think of Brute. He's been with me forever. He's one of my best moderators. Love him to death. But yes, I do plan on collabing with someone in the future. I am currently trying to reach out to people around my size uh, on YouTube to reach out to them and, you know, do a collab with them. So if y'all know of a smaller YouTuber that y'all love watching, let me know who they are down in the comments below because it's hard for me to find small YouTubers around my size that, you know, care about YouTube. And I know I was gone for like three or four months, but... I really do care about this channel. I really do care about this community. And I really think collabs can be an amazing part of a Let's Play channel. Now, if it's somebody who just does Fortnite, I'm probably not gonna be able to keep up with them because I'm not good at Fortnite. But if it's somebody who plays a lot of different video games, I can definitely keep up with that, I think. So I loved when different personalities mesh. I love it when I get to meet other people that have the same passion as me. So if y'all have any recommendations on people to collab with, leave them down in the comments below. Mercy Plays asks, what are your thoughts on Bat Fortnite Battle Royale? I have no opinion on it. It's a great game for certain people. If you're good at it, it's amazing for you. If you're not, it's not good. If I was to upload Fortnite videos or stream Fortnite, nobody would watch it because I'm terrible at it. I'm terrible at Fortnite. It's not a bad game to play. I just can't build very well. And back in the day when it first came out i played it quite a bit and i was actually pretty decent at it but once people started to be able to build super quickly i lost interest because i can't keep i can't play it enough to be able to be that good my little brother ryan he loves to play it he streams on twitch every now and then me personally i can't really get into fortnite because people are just so much better than me and i love playing a lot of different games so i can't put all my energy into fortnite i have been banned from Apex, so I probably won't be playing Apex anymore because my account was hacked and they were cheating and it was terrible. But now I just play a lot of Call of Duty. I play a lot with my uncle, my family, my friends back home. And you know, I love games like that. I haven't really played Warzone, but if y'all wanna see videos of Warzone, I don't mind putting that up, you know? So just let me know down in the comments below answers to all these questions I'm asking y'all because y'all are asking me questions. And then our final question is, David Leon asks, pineapple on pizza. I personally don't give a rip. I don't care. I could care less. Pizza's amazing. I love pizza. If I'm not in the mood for pizza, I hate pizza. It's just an on and off with me. I've eaten so much pizza in my life that it's either the best thing I've ever eaten or it's the worst thing I've ever eaten. Pineapple. I love pineapple all the time. I don't care. I'll eat a, a whole pineapple in five minutes. I don't care. I love pineapple. But pineapple on pizza, I've had it with... I don't care. You know, if you like pineapple on pizza, then eat it. If you don't, then don't. I don't have a strong opinion on it like a lot of other people do, but nonetheless, I'll leave that up to you. Do you like pineapple on your pizza? And that's going to do it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope y'all want to keep asking me questions. If you ever have any questions, leave them down in the comments below and I will be, I'll try to just answer it right then and there not have to make a video on it. But every now and then I love doing these videos just because it gives me time just face to face with y'all face to face. I'm looking at a camera, but it gives me time just to talk to y'all and really just see how y'all are doing. Y'all get to ask me questions. It's just a one-on-one -on -one without all the other nonsense. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, hit that like button, hit subscribe if you haven't already, and that little bell icon helps me out a lot, and I very much appreciate it. But one more time, guys, thank you so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Game on.